A lot of people who are not familiar with Cradlepoint and not familiar with 4GLT, the first question they ask is how are companies using this? And we have three categories, platforms that we target. Fixed locations, mobile locations like vehicles, and then IoT machines like kiosks or digital signage. What we're finding is that LTE as an enterprise WAN can complement your existing network with failover. You can extend your existing network to vehicles. You can augment your existing network with additional bandwidth. LTE as failover is how many enterprises got started with using LTE as an enterprise WAN. And once they started using it, they started realizing there's other applications as well. If I'm a bank, why would I put my digital signage on my secure financial network if I can put it on a completely separate LTE network that's isolated from my main branch? And then they started to realize this is very flexible, this is very cost effective, and they're starting to bring it back into the branches for things like SD-WAN. SD-WAN is the concept of basically changing the way that we network. And so there's been a lot of things that have been packaged into that definition. Yes, it's multiple WANs, it's, it's traffic shaping or traffic steering based on application specific policies, but it's also centralized management, it's uh, easy VPN, zero touch deployment. Some of the analysts are calling it WAN edge infrastructure as opposed to SD-WAN, but it is the concept of using multiple internet connections or multiple WAN connections uh, for cost, quality, or availability. LTE is one of many possible different internet connections, but what's interesting about LTE is it's wireless and it's pervasive, and the speeds are, are quite good uh, to the fact that we're gonna have gigabit LTE by the end of the year. So when companies think about using LTE as part of an SD-WAN strategy, these are the benefits that they see. It's cost, quality, and availability.